How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Asus TUF Gaming F15 laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 7 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start dismantling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands, or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Flip your laptop over and use a pH0 bit to remove the two long screws at the top, the eight same sized screws in the middle and the two short screws at the bottom. The screw at the bottom right is a safety screw. You can just loosen it. Use a magnetic mat to avoid confusion or loss of screws. Prepare a triangular prying tool. Then, stand the laptop up and align it with the lower left corner. Align the prying tool with the gap in the casing and insert it. Run it along the top and side to open. This way, you can easily pry open the bottom cover. Repeat the same operation on the other corner, moving along the casing to open the clip. Finally, you can use your hand to pry open the bottom cover. After opening the bottom cover, tear off the tape. Then, prepare a spudger to disconnect the laptop's power cable. Push the metal cover upwards. Lift the connector on both sides at the same time. Unplug the power cord, and then press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Get your spudger ready to disconnect the power cable on the right side fan. You can use the spudger to push both sides of the connector at the same time. This makes it easier to remove the connector. Then come to the left side fan. Use the spudger in the same way to disconnect the connector. Move on to the central heat sink. Use a pH0 bit to remove the 8 screws in a diagonal order to avoid uneven pressure. Choose a high quality screwdriver, like the Cooling Monster KOMB001. And when screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane. Apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Next, remove the two screws from the right side fan. And the three screws from the left side fan. When removing the heat sink to avoid bending it, you can apply force in the middle to flip it open. To more efficiently clean the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster KLEAN01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. As you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after several years of use, decreasing its cooling efficiency. You need to note that the chips around the CPU and GPU use thermal putty. Because these chips generate less heat, just using thermal putty can dissipate heat effectively. If the thermal putty is not dry, you can choose not to wipe it off and reapply thermal paste. If you decide to replace the thermal putty with thermal paste, we recommend buying the 2.1 mL large size Cooling Monster KOLD01 thermal paste, and the separately packaged KLEAN01 cleaning wipes, just in case the cleaning wipes run out. Step 4, clean the fan. Take out the fans on both sides. Use an anti-static brush to clean the dust off the surfaces and fan blades. You can also use compressed air to clean the details. When using compressed air, remember to keep a bit of distance. This is to prevent any liquid from spraying out. Once you've cleaned the fans, don't forget to do the same for the heat sink and the back of the case. These places are very prone to collecting dust. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Apply some high performance thermal paste onto the CPU and GPU. Here, we used Cooling Monster KOLD01 thermal paste. Too much or too little thermal paste is not ideal. Just squeeze out an appropriate amount. Take note that the chips next to the CPU and GPU don't necessarily need new thermal paste. If, when you cleaned off the old thermal paste earlier, we also cleaned the thermal putty next to it, then we need to reapply. If you didn't clean the thermal putty earlier, then you don't need to put thermal paste on the surrounding chips. Just keep the original thermal putty intact. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Next, 
follow the same steps in reverse to reinstall the fan and heatsink. Align with the holes in the heatsink before pressing down to install. First, install the five screws for the fans on both sides. Then, install the heatsink in a diagonal pattern. It's recommended to tighten the eight screws until they are about 70% tight. Wait until they're all in place before fully tightening to avoid excessive force. Install the fan power cables on both sides. Finally, install the power cable. Press the connector down before lowering the metal case. After applying the tape, you can boot up the machine to check if the fans are working properly. Then, put the cover back on. Install the 12 screws onto the back panel in order. And then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.